Thank you. And next speaker on my list is Stitching Global Human Rights Defense. Mr. President, we welcome the High Commissioner update on the urgent human rights situation in the Uyghur autonomous region and the renewed concern the number of government in the, the high-level statement. Excuse me, they sir. Increased it. Sir, may I ask you to stop for a while? I see China. China, you have the floor. Mr. President, we have reason to challenge the uh, qualification of that speaker. He is not the representative of a so-called NGO, still less human rights defender. Rather, he is an anti-China and separatist uh, violent element, allowing him to engage in separatist activities in the Council would be a serious violation of the purposes and principles of the UN Charter, as well as the rules of procedure of the Human Rights Council. We will request Mr. President to terminate the statement of that speaker and request the Secretariat to verify his uh, qualification. Thank you. United States, we have the floor. Without addressing the substance of the speaker's statement, uh, we are of the opinion that what we have heard of the intervention thus far is addressed to the subject matter at hand before this council, and we ask that you rule this you rule that the speaker be allowed to finish their presentation. Thank you. Thank you. I see Eritrea. Mr. President, well, I believe this is a platform for NGOs with civil uh, civil status, uh, eco status, and it should be the platform for those who have been allowed to, 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 to continue on this deliberation. See, if there is a proof on that one, and we have already uh, raised this matter before in several instances, I think it would be incumbent on us that the Secretariat verify the identity of those people who are abusing the platform. Thank you so much. Thank you for inter interventions. NGOs in uh, consultative status with the Economic and Social Council of the United Nations can accredit the persons of their choosing. Therefore, I give the floor back to the speaker. You have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. The increased call from the UN Special Rapporteur and the several reports on the crime against the humanity and the genocide perpetrated against the Uyghur and the Turk Muslim, including High Commissioner report, requires immediate and urgent attention of this Council. Last October, we saw the field of the decision merely calling for debate on the human rights situation in the region. However, many member states have voted against and abstained. We deplore that this Council was unable to support this case decision, and we strongly condemn the country who blocked this proposal, particularly leading OIC state. We uphold Somali for the being only Muslim council member to vote in favor. Last month, during the UN Sesco review on China, government admits that Uyghurs and other Turk people are sent to the camp for minor offenses that are not considered as a crimes. However, official leaked document indicates this individual are being serving links sentenced to charge related to terrorism and separatism, including my two own brother, Yalkun Isa and Khushtar Isa. We remind this council that the de extremification policy implemented by the Chinese government are not proportional and legal necessarily. Lastly, we call on the High Commissioner to brief this council. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You have exhausted your time, and I'm now inviting.